developments for the family of a teen gunned down just days graduating high school. Tonight, police are charging two men with murdering Gianni Corsentino, and now his grandparents are speaking out. I can't accept the fact that he's gone, gone, not going to never be back. Well, 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is live at the scene of that horrific murder tonight. Christopher. Trisha, that teenager was gunned down outside this gas station tonight. His grandparents say they're glad police are charging someone, but that won't erase the agony of losing their grandson. I feel like, um, I feel like I died with my grandson. For Jeannie Leto, the pain is too great. I'm having a very hard time with this. Jeannie struggles to speak through her tears as she tells us how Crooks gunned down her grandson Gianni. He just was just murdered in cold blood. Earlier this summer, Gianni was shot and killed. His two friends wounded outside this Maverick gas station. I can't accept the fact that he's gone, gone, not going to never be back. Tonight, police identifying two men as the killers, 29-year-old Adrian Johnson and 18-year-old Gerald Fuller. Investigators arresting them in Dallas. I was very glad to hear that the suspects were found. Tony Leto is Gianni's grandfather. He raised Gianni like a son, even coaching him in Little League Baseball. What the pain that we're going through, I would not want any other parent or grandparent to go through this. Gianni, who was heading to college on a baseball scholarship, will never get to live his dream. The couple says they want the men who robbed their grandson of his life to face the consequences. I would like for justice to be served. I would like these individuals never to be on the streets again. And the men charged in the murder are behind bars right now. They are waiting to be extradited right here to Las Vegas. We're live at Bermuda and Cactus. Christopher King, 13 Action News.